This is an instructional video about the 6V6 tube, perhaps one of the most important tubes ever to come out of mainly the RCA laboratories and is widely used in a variety of audio amplification purposes, especially its famed use in Fender guitar amps. Probably the most popular is the Gray Glass RCA 6V6 GT. This merely stands for glass tube and the gray uh, powdery inside is basically a shield or a, as we should say an RF shield sprayed on inside the glass to prevent the tube from picking up hum and noise. This tube is an outgrowth of the earlier G type which is a large ST shape or shouldered tube which is primarily used in old radios. The G type or the GT, the GT type replaced the G type. Some even say GTG on the side. That merely means the GT replaces the G type. It's a small beam power pentode capable of about 14 watts maximum at about 350 volts on the plate, although some Fender amplifiers can uh, put uh, considerably more voltage on the plate and these tubes handle it extremely well. Another tube that is similar is the uh, 6V6 GT clear glass with the black plate. This was made by RCA, but as you can see, RCA made it for a lot of other brands too, as this one is made for Lowry organs. Another type is an actual RCA 6V6 GT black plate clear glass. Again, only made for a couple of years. Generally found in the red and black RCA box with the old logo on it. The later type is called the 6V6 GTA. This was a clear glass type with a gray plate. These sound very, very good and generally are newer and can be had for less money than the gray glass types. Here's an even older gray glass type made by RCA. As you can see, it's got the old RCA Victor label on the base in silver. Generally speaking, all of the old tubes with the silver bases from RCA came from about 1940 through about the early 1960s. And then later they went to an orange colored base. And here's an example of a 6V6 GTA with an orange colored base with the old RCA label on it. And again, this is a clear glass with a gray plate. There were other brands of these tubes available, uh, including brands such as Admiral, National Union, Philco, and here's two different kinds of Delco, which were used in automobile radios. The one common thing here is that they all have the 6V6 GT enclosed in a little stop sign type of a symbol, which indicates it was uh, the tube was made about the same time as the RCA tubes in the Harrison, New Jersey RCA factory. Another brand which is very good is the Sylvania. The Sylvania is a gray glass type made by Sylvania and uh, again about the same period. Uh, there are two versions available. Some of them are the uh, yellow, some of them have a green base. They're all virtually the same tube. The older ones generally had a bright, shiny silver top, whereas the later versions had a darker silver top that wasn't as pronounced. This is an excellent tube, and generally speaking, is less costly than the 6V6 from RCA. Some earlier tubes you might spot are Raytheon. This is a 6V6 GT with a nickel collar around the base, an orange label. And then, of course, there is the 6V6 without any letter in the suffix. That merely means it's a metal jacket. This one happens to be by RCA. I believe RCA made most, if not all, of the metal jacketed types available. These are identical in every way to the glass types, except uh, some uh, audiophiles don't think they sound quite as well as the uh, glass types, and therefore the prices have remained relatively low on this tube. So um, if you're first trying an NOS tube, you might want to uh, try one of the metal types. Then finally, there are the military types. Uh, here is a black glass Raytheon. Uh, they're also noted as a VT-107A. Frequently come in boxes that look like this. Military marked boxes with the packing date on them. 
Uh, this particular one happens to be a 6V6 GTY. And the GTY is noted for a brown base. This is a brown Mykonel base that is heat resistant. These tubes are excellent and frequently priced lower than the 6V6 equivalent gray glass types from RCA. Another excellent version is the tongue saw. Here are two black glass versions, the one on the left being the older type from the 1940s, the one on the right being a later type from the 1950s. These are very sweet sounding tubes. Notice the black goes all the way across the top. These tubes are generally, again, priced lower than the RCA equivalents. Finally, one of the audiophile's rarities is the Bendix. 5992 and it'll often be marked on the very top as 5992. This tube can be spotted as having a beige to brown base. Sometimes it will say J-A-N-C-E-A 5992. Sometimes it'll just say 5992 but it will have the Bendix label on the base and generally be a clear glass with three mica elements and two getter elements at the top. That pretty much concludes our tour of the 6V6 different types. And uh, we hope that uh, if you have any questions, you can give us a call, 847-496-4546. We'd love to help you pick out a 6V6 tube that might be right for you. Thank you.